Hi there guys, I'd just like to share with you a hack that I've tried out today. I've uh, had this head unit for just about a year now and I'm fairly happy with it. It sounds fairly good, had a few nice features when it came out. Um, obviously got FM, CD player and uh, auxiliary input. But it also had Bluetooth for making calls, uh, receiving calls and you can do text messages through it as well. But one feature it didn't have was called uh, A2DP, that's uh, for streaming music over Bluetooth. So I'm going to show you an easy way of putting that functionality onto pretty much any head unit with an AUX input. Okay, here's what you're going to need. One A2DP Bluetooth module. I picked this one up for about £5 off eBay. It's basically powered by USB. You can get them that are powered by 12 volts, but this one was a bit cheaper. And it's got a 3.5mm stereo input on the end. The other thing we're going to need is one of these. This is obviously if you've got the USB version. It's a car cigarette lighter, 12 volt to USB adapter. This could just be replaced by a voltage regulator. But I'm going to go for this. So let's take it apart. Once you've got the casing off this, you'll realise there's a, actually next to nothing to it. There's a little smoothing circuit on that side. And that is the voltage regulator. So uh, I'm going to cut these big negative terminals off and put a wire on that and then put a wire onto the positive. And then my uh, Bluetooth thing will just slot straight into that. And that's the power sorted. There we go, I've soldered on my positive and negative leads. The positive was soldered onto where the um, spring goes from the end terminal. And the negative just goes onto the ground of the USB. That could go anywhere on the ground plane on the board. And I've uh, plugged my Bluetooth module in. And uh, I'm just going to wrap this up in tape. Make sure the USB bit doesn't pop out and so that the uh, wires don't ground out on the car anywhere accidentally. Then we'll go wire it in. Okay, so to install it we're going to take the ground, which is this black wire on the uh, wiring harness. And this blue one, which on my head unit is called antenna connector. But uh, I've seen it called a few other things, on this one it's called power connector on the other side actually. But uh, basically what that does is that just puts out 12 volts at um, a fairly low current. And that's just used as a remote switch to turn a subwoofer on. Or um, if you've got an antenna that comes up out of the um, bonnet when you put the ignition on, it could power that. But we're going to use it so uh, when the key's in and the radio's on it will turn our Bluetooth module on. So I'm going to stick that just somewhere in there with the uh, little extension cable poke, poking out of the front. And that should just plug back into the head unit when it's in. So I'll uh, crack on with doing that. Okay, that's all in there. And it looks fairly neat and tidy. It's a shame um, this head unit didn't have a rear input because that would have been perfect for doing this. Wouldn't have had to mess about with any wires, but yeah, that just... Uh, Peeks through that little slot there. That's not too bad. I'll get over it. So I'll uh, turn the ignition on. Connect it to aux. Okay, well, Alright, let's turn demo off this time. There we go. Right, phone steam thinks it's uh, connected to something. Let's try and play some more music through it, shall we? Yep. Yeah, and it connects to the hands free as well, so I can uh, make calls. And I usually just keep the phone down in that pocket when I'm driving. The range is fine for that. It's not breaking up or anything. Yeah, that works really well. So that's how to put Bluetooth for streaming music into any car with a AUX input. Now you could do uh, do the same thing if you just have one of those cassette taped uh, 3.5mm jacks, but they're pretty low quality. Hope you found this useful, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good night.